An estimated one-third of the world's population is infected with tuberculosis. One-third. And here's the culprit, the minuscule bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. But does that mean 2.3 billion people are sick? Fortunately not. Only a small proportion of them actually become sick. To understand why, let's take a closer look at the bacterium itself. When someone with TB coughs, they expel little drops of saliva that fly into the air. Some of them may contain the TB mycobacteria, which can then be inhaled by someone close by. The mycobacteria then continue their journey down the respiratory tract and into the lungs. That person is then infected with TB. And this is where it all becomes a little more complicated. The body detects the invasion and sends out its first line of defense. This includes special cells called macrophages, which engulf the mycobacteria and transport them to the lymph nodes, where they are neutralized. If they're neutralized, the person will have what is called latent tuberculosis. This means they're infected with the bacterium, but they don't have active TB disease, and they're not sick. However, in 5% of cases, the immune system is overwhelmed. The TB mycobacteria multiply and escape, and the person falls ill. This often happens with young children, whose immune systems are not fully developed. In other cases, latent TB can wake up and become active TB. This can happen months later, or even years later, especially in adults with weak immune systems. For example, people who are HIV positive, or who've had organ transplants, or who are undergoing chemotherapy. Once in the lungs, the bacteria may spread via the bloodstream or the lymphatic system to other parts of the body, to the lymph nodes, bones and joints, the digestive system, the central nervous system, the liver, or the heart. So what happens when someone has active TB? Let's imagine the infections in the lungs, as this is the most common place. The patient starts coughing, has difficulty breathing, and suffers from chest pains. If these symptoms last for more than a few weeks, and are accompanied by fever, night sweats, and weight loss, the doctor has good reason to suspect tuberculosis. The next stage is diagnosis, and then treatment. The battle is far from over.